Hello heroes and welcome to Tabletop Idiots, a tabletop role playing game experience for all ages. Please enjoy as Michael, Matt, Evan, Zach, Megan, and Josh will try to survive whatever their DM Bailey will throw at them. Today these idiots will be thrust into this week's campaign, The Dark Secrets of Halcyon City. So strap in, relax, and enjoy. So, this area is purely indestructible. As long as I am keeping my power active in it, you cannot damage this arena in any way, shape, or form. That does not mean you can't use the arena to your advantage. Keep that in mind, Robert. I'm looking at you for this one. Okay. So let's split you off into pairs of two. Anybody have any grudges they need to get out? I was going to get my house that in here. What'd you say, Robert? Can I get my foster dad in here? Uh, unfortunately, no. Ugh. Robert, so you doing he okay, okay, bud? You doing okay, <laughs> bud? Robert, you okay? I'm still, I'm still like holding like the handles of his wheelchair. Are you good, dude? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Just, just, it was just a random question. Don't worry about it. Right. Well, if there are no active grudges, let's just assign it random. How's that sound? That sounds a okay. You know. That's fine. Andrew. You will be going up against Mason. Okay, Iguanodon, let's go. All right. I can really fight Mason. Donovan. Uh, yeah. You will be going up against Gil. Stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I had to unmute myself. Sorry. It's so, so glossy. <laughs> and last but not least. Avery, Robert, you two will be dueling each other. Now, keep these duels like simple. Do not try to kill anyone. Do not try and do any serious damage. The whole goal of your uh, fight is so that way one person knows one is clearly the victor. This is also show you where to stop, where to draw your moral line. One of the biggest things they'll teach you about being a hero is where do you draw your moral line. Okay. All right. Robert, Avery, you're first. Hello. We're, oh, we're taking turns, oh. are we? Oh, okay. no. Oh, oh. I'm nervous to get yeah. crowds. You're like, you can see Mason with the, with a laser hand behind um, Andrew's back, just like, oh. I already have my oh. hand around his shirt. Like, oh. 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 All right. Guess he was not. just looking at me. Just <laughs> stop. As, as the arena is set up for the two, uh, Robert, you are standing now on your with your cybernetics and your wheelchair is now part of your, your suit and all that. Um, Avery, do you change into your suit at all, or are you just, are you just going? It's gotta go with straight clothes. Fair enough. Um, everybody else, there are stands that you can sit in to watch the fight. Cool. Before the fight begins, Victor looks at everyone and goes, Right? Remember, this is technically an assignment. If I ask you a question in the middle of the fight, you better have a good answer. Give me pom poms. Let's do this. He th- pom-poms. he materializes pom poms and drops them. Snacks. <laughs> hey, I want to whisper in his What's ear. What's up? What axe? What snacks? Snacks. There's a whole. Did you not see the? There's a whole dude with like a snack cart. Just hot dogs, pretzels. This is awesome. Uh, can you put him in a skirt? Maybe. <laughs> do it. The skirt. The, I don't think you realize he was Mason surprisingly is, okay with that. Mason is going in on this po- on these pom poms. Like he is, <laughs> he is like two hundred percent. Wait, wait a second. Yes, the girl sees Mason going hard. He 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 wants he once again uh, transforms into him with the pom poms and just starts mimicking him exactly. So there are now two oh, of yeah. them just it's going. We're just team. <laughs> I have I mean, never uh, seen anything so <laughs> ridiculous in my entire life. Right. So, logistically, so like, you know, DM, join. DM to players. This is not combat. This is still okay. RP. You can do combat moves if you like. But the only things that we're going to determine with is we're going to just still roll our 2d6s. And the higher outcome will take 
whichever one. So it's like one person will try and do one thing. The other person says what the other, they're going to try and do. Roll. Whoever rolls the highest will succeed on that based on the rolls. 2d6, right? 2d6, yep. Gotcha. All right. Robert, Avery, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Three, two, one, begin. All right, so both right. of you, uh, we're going to start with Avery. What are you going to try and do first versus Robert? What are you going to try and do first? So Avery, what are you okay. going to do? So I'm going to create kind of like the, like um, a psychic construct of a, like a whip to try and just like trip him. Okay, so you're going to try and do all that at the same time, right? So you're going to make the yeah. psychic whip and try and pull him and trip him with it, right? Yeah. Okay, Robert, what are you trying to do? Okay, so I'm thinking about the cybernetics and the environment and all that, and I want to start spinning my wheels, start trying to create, like, this static electricity so, like, little sparks start coming off. And Cool. All right, both of you roll opposing. I got ten. Ooh, Seven. Good. Okay, it's close, though. It is close, though. So, is your uh, whip, what is your whip technically? Is your whip made of, like, psychic energy? Is that what we're yeah. going with? Okay. Yeah, pretty much. So, at the same time, you, Robert, you start revving your tires up to get them spinning, creating the static electricity. You're starting to notice rocks and different things are starting to catch with the electricity. Wall, Avery, summons this whip, wraps it around your leg, and does manage to trip you forward a little bit. You're not fully off your balance, but yeah. you're, you're falling. What do you do now? Robert, you have lead. Okay, um, is her whip still connected to me? Yes. Okay, I'm going to charge up my little, my rocket boys, and I'm going to try to fly straight up into the air and pull her with me. Okay, cool. <laughs> Avery, what are, what are you doing? What are you going to try and do? Um, I guess I would be just trying to, like, still pull him back. So I guess I won't be noticing him trying to, like, till it's kind of, like, too late. Going up. So, since you're still pulling him back, I'm actually going to say that Robert's going to take the lead on this one. Yeah. Um, Robert, you engage your rockets, take her straight up into the air. Avery, you are now dangling from the whip at probably 100 feet in the air. Mm, okay. Um, <laughs> cool. At this, going... at this moment, Robert almost looks like he's about to take a victory. Okay, I'm going to Psychic Constructs again. I'm just sure. going to um, use the one hand that I have that I'm not hanging on to do life and just create kind of like this platform under my feet okay. so that I'm not going to like fully fall. Okay, so is it like a floating platform that you're trying to make? Yeah. Okay, cool. Robert, Are you? Where, what, what's the plan now? You have her in the air. <laughs> what are you thinking? Yeah. All right, so as she's like, she's making her platform go in to try to like land on it, I'm gonna take one of my wheels that's already revved up and kind of throw it her like underneath her feet to kind of slip her off so that she falls to the ground. Uh, so are you thinking that before the platform, are you thinking you're just trying to slip her and make her fall all the way? Well, yeah, my my goal would be to cut her loose either way. So okay. if I can see her doing the platform to kind of like catch her from underneath, got you, got you. And if I don't see the platform, just to Knock her off, you know. Sure. Uh, opposing rolls. Two. <laughs> Eleven. Ooh. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, oh, double, double, double one. Avery, you are. That's the lowest you could have rolled, hey too. Uh, yeah, literally. So. You start forming this construct. You're not looking up at him as you're focusing on as uh, forming this platform below you. Robert, you chuck down one of your tires. It slashes through the whip and it curves and slices through the uh, platform. Avery, you are now plummeting until you are stopped by a very soft mattress that catches your fall. Robert, you are now encased in rock. As you hear Victor's calling out, duel is done, clear Victor. You just hear Mason just pop up and go, let's go, Robert. He's our man. Can he walk? Sure, he can. 
That's terrible. <laughs> Amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> As you both are brought back down to the base of the arena, he goes, right, Avery, did you learn anything from this fight? Archie's pissed. She's not saying <laughs> She's pissed. Fair, fair enough, I guess. Robert, well done. What did you learn? Let's not get caught next time. Fair enough. All right. Mason. Yeah. What did Avery do wrong? She relied a little bit too much on her constructs when she could have, once he started flying up, he could, she could have released it. That's a fair point. Donovan, what did Robert do right? He used his strengths against her. Being able to fly up into the air when Avery can't. And working on the next move while he's fighting. Mm. Brilliant. Gil, what did you notice about the fight? Uh, it was pretty clear from the start. Okay, that's that's kind of rude. I'm not gonna lie to you. Ouch. That, that oh, was kind of rude. I think I think it's I think it's a it's a. <laughs> Avery, Avery, he, doesn't, he doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't know what he's saying every year. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fine. Fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Her hand yeah. is gonna be in like her hoodie pocket, like clutching the like, like necklace. Don't even pick up. Let you. Gil clarifies himself. He's like, no, no, no. I meant what I know what I said. Okay. No. Okay. Wait a minute, guys. Calm down. Calm down. However, man, however, 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 Robert had the clear advantage from being able to fly. So he used his strengths against her. And that's why I saw that from the very beginning. But. <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> Andrew. What did they forget to look for? I'll be real with you. All I was thinking about was the fact this popcorn really just needs more salt. Salt just materializes on top of it. <laughs> it is it is so buttery. Do you all not like buttery popcorn? Guys. I love buttery popcorn. Guys. No, buttery popcorn is great, but I all I can taste is butter, dude. Oh, yeah, as on. a as a popcorn connoisseur being my parents, I listen, I understand, but we need more salt. Salt just <laughs> materializes on top of it. <laughs> um Right. Well, uh, salt my eye. Salt my eye. <laughs> what they failed to notice, if you look up, and as all of you look up, you notice that there is a bomb strapped to the ceiling. Oh. What the heck? Oh, wow. There's a school oh. up there. <clears throat> there is a school up there. But he neither, said this place was indestructible. Neither one looked up to see if there were any environmental hazards. Uh, okay. Oh, I got it. All right. Yeah, no, he... Mm. Yeah. Right. Got us there. Now that it, I made a fool of myself, can I go home? Uh, no, you have to watch the rest of the fights. But now you get to watch the I rest of them make a fool. I'm sorry. You can watch the popcorn. You can watch Donovan get punched. By I have more important fist. things to do than be here right now. Thanks. <laughs> Help you with the polka dots beats your butt. Can Robert comfort Avery and be like, "No, I, I just got lucky or something," so that she's not pissed off? Oh no, <laughs> no comfort. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, Robert, just, just leave her alone. Uh, you fine. do pull yeah, out okay. a uh, Avery. You in your hoodie, you have a business card that you kind of just like. You also look at as while you're clutching the uh, the amulet that you kept with you. You're also looking at the uh, the business card that you got, and you're just like you're now reaming with both thoughts going through your head. So you just calmly sit in the stands and don't talk to anybody. Um, right, Donovan, Gil, you are up. Oh boy. I hope he slimes you in the face. Um, <laughs> how do you all prepare for this weird <laughs> I don't Sorry. really hope for that. <laughs> how, how do you all prepare for this fight? Uh, I, I get go in my mech, to... it's like human sized. Human sized mech, got it. I want to go up to, I cannot remember the guy's name. Victor? 
Yes, Victor. I want to go up to Victor and be like, hey, can you make the, at least the ground, like, destructible? Oh, it, already, it is. It is. Oh, okay, cool. It's indestructible in the fact that you can't break through it to the outside, if that makes sense. Oh, I get you. So, like, a box within a box. Got right, it. there you go. Um... As you were saying this, Jonathan you... is going to stretch. He's like he's going to do like a full round of stretch. He's like lunging. Um, <laughs> since you all are now aware of the environmental hazards, you all are looking around and noticing that he is constantly changing the environment around them. Meaning there could be different dangers or different things to use to their advantage. However, they decide to do it. All right, Gil, Donovan, are you ready? Yep. Yeah. yeah, sorry, I, I was re- I was reading something real quick. All right. Three, two, one, fight. All right. Donovan, we'll start with you. Donovan wants to immediately off the bat take both of his fists and as hard as he can slam them into the ground. Cool. Gil, what are you think? What are you doing? Uh, I immediately do an area scan. Okay. I'm not even going to make you roll for this. I'm not even going to make you roll for this because this is kind of clear. Just immediately, just... Yeah, immediately scan surroundings. You wait, know wait, wait, how, wait, wait, for, for, for how far away are we starting? Are we like face to face? You're like... Because I thought we were like anime distance apart. No, you're like oh, anime yeah, distance thought, apart. Like, no, you're 100% okay. anime, anime distance di- apart. Okay, anime distance. Okay, I have time to do an area scan. Not really. <laughs> oh, really? Anime <laughs> time. I know, that's why I said that. Anime timing. <laughs> okay. You, you are, are, are starting with friends. Be, be able to, to, can I see any hazards from where I'm at without doing anything excessive? Uh, there are a couple floating rocks in the arena. But other than that, there's nothing like a bomb or anything like that. Gotcha. I, instead, can, can I take back the area scan then? <laughs> No. I don't want to, but I'll allow it. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, okay. No, no, no. You know what? No, just do the area scan. No, just okay. the area scan. Because if we're doing okay, anime no, timing, I... you're doing the whole 9,000 thing. Like, you're not. No. <laughs> I'm literally doing this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you get glasses. <laughs> uh, can you please add that in a post family? They're just on the mech. <laughs> they come. <laughs> no. uh, Bailey, please, please edit the same in post. Do the effect. Oh, God. <laughs> you kill me. Well, there goes four this hours. Works. I was literally, I'm literally <laughs> thinking that. It was one time. Okay, it works. Uh, it doesn't have to be. You could just cut I, out. Poop. It's fine. I know how to just do the, it. Just get the, like, JoJo's thing going. Yeah, right. right. Back. <laughs> so as you, uh, you look, you, you literally, Donovan, you see him, like, look up and, like, look around really quickly. And you notice there are a bunch of floating rocks about in the area. There are actually things that are changing into different objects. So there is one rock that's changing into a streetlight that changes into a telephone pole that changes into a truck that they're constantly changing environments. So Donovan... Wasting no time, takes both of his fists and slams them as hard as he can into the ground, causing an entire ripple to burst through the earth, going all the way to Gil. Gil, you are very much on uneven terrain and it is hard to keep your footing as you are teetering around and about to fall. Gil, we'll start with you for this next round. Okay, i like to, uh, in reaction to that, Jump, jump like a you know like Iron Man kind of booster jump toward one of the floating rocks. Okay, is it like big enough to stand on, or is it more like grab? There's a couple that are big enough to stand on. There are a couple of them that are like grab. I would like to do one of the larger grab ones. Okay, so you're just going to of, you're going to one of the larger grab ones. Yes, uh, unless you let me do an action with it, if I make it, you can try. What else do you want to do with that? Okay, my, my my what I'm thinking is jump up and kind of grab and like kind of spin and kind of hurl it back at him. Okay, like what kind of what, what kind of one you know smooth kind of motion, just like he did, just like he somehow did it to the box to the box man. Got it, Donovan. Boxer, that's what Donovan, what are you thinking? Uh, 
I'm watching him like jump into the air at sure. this point. Yep. Uh, I guess right be- right before he jumps, I'm just gonna like sprint towards him, uh, because I want to get him off guard with the uneven footing. And as I see him jump, I'm going to dig my hand into the ground. Okay. And just get as much earth as I can in like or like the biggest rock I can find and just kind of chalk it at him. Okay. As he's going up. This is gonna be interesting. So opposing roles. Mm -hmm. We all know what's gonna happen here. My rolls never count when or never do well. When it it can't be as bad as mine. It can't. It really sure. can't. I can't it be as bad. As I know. It, it turns into a zero. One of his dice. Is, <laughs> <laughs> one of the dice yeah. just dematerializes. <laughs> I got a zero. I. They, they, oh. <laughs> what did you get? I'm uh, scared. I, don't I got a seven. I got a okay. seven. I got an eight. <laughs> okay. So what is going to happen is. Gil gets up to the rock he was trying to go to as Donovan reaches his hand into the ground and hurls all of this earth up at him. Gil, you take that rock and throw it down at him and both the rocks collide and there is now a plume of smoke. It is hard to see the other person. Donovan, what do you do? Question. Yes. Do I have an advantage with alien technology or would I have to use an action to to assert said advantage? Uh, it depends on what Like in terms of visi- visibility slash rad- not radar, what, infrared type. Oh, wait, you can't see a darn thing. Sensory beats. You can't see a darn cool. thing. Gotcha. Uh, Donovan. Uh, I want to, is there anything on the ground that like any like large rock that's like turning into a car or something that I can like duck behind. Uh, there is one that just turned into a, uh, a semi that you can duck behind. Okay. I'm going to duck behind that and kind of, uh, peek and, and watch this dust cloud, uh, as it dissipates and just kind of like try to assess where Gil is in this dust cloud. Uh, I have a clarification question again. I'm sorry. What's up? For my for my men, one of the abilities I gave it was size shifting. Does it shift in size with me in it? Like, can I Ant Man? That's really no. What I'm you cannot Ant Man. Can't Ant Man. Gotcha. But can I still get bigger? I just can't get. Like, you th- like sure? I, I would say mech. I would oh, say okay, the okay, big I'm, I'm, mech. I'm, big mech. Yes. No. No little mech. I can't like. I can't ant man into okay, that, that's fair. You can giant man, you can't ant man. <laughs> big, big, big time. man only. No little man here. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's actually beetle yeah, man. I, thank am you. I in, am, I, am I still in the air at this point? Or am, yeah, you're I still land? in the air. Still in the air. Beetle man. Oh, that's no, sucks. beetle it's man. Because <laughs> it's not like I have stealth on my side. I. I kind of get my distance away, like try to fly out of the plume of smoke, kind of like up and out diagonal. Okay. Just to get get a survey of the situation. Okay. Um, you are still kind of not going to really be able to see the battlefield too, too well with the, mm-hmm. the, the plume of smoke, but you're going to get out of there so that way you're not in it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Donovan, you're actually in an interesting situation here. Mm-hmm. So you... Uh, and Zach, you can now disregard that message I sent you. Um, yeah. Because you are still boots on the ground surveying what's going on, you notice that there are two children about to get hit with the debris from your rock throw. Oh, shoot. Yeah, no, I'm going for the kids. Okay. Uh, I want to... I'm going to run in and uh, grab them both by the waist um, and try to go past, try to go past somewhere where I can like hide them behind. I'm like, I know this isn't real, but I, I, this, 
messes with my moral compass. I got to do this. I want to like grab them and I want to get them behind something so that they're not in the way. Yep. Uh, the moment you run across, the plume dissipates. Gil, you see just the tail end of it. You see... Okay, yeah. Donovan... I just see the kids. You see him grab oh, yeah. both of them to get them out of the gotcha. way. And you have the internal realization that your fight almost mm-hmm. did that. Yeah. So, Donovan, you pull them away. You rush over to a... a, a Good sized rock to plop them behind. Hey, stay here and be safe. And the moment you hear that, Gil, you are trapped in a thing of rocks, and the two kids hug Donovan. Fight is over. Clear winner. Right. I wasn't done. That's fine. But you were the hero. All right, yeah. <laughs> Gil. What did you do wrong? Uh, I have no idea because those kids must have materialized out of anywhere because I did a full I, I did a full scan. Kids can do that from time to time as a child appears behind him. So wh- when did the children materialize then? They'd been there the whole time. Right, Andrew? Then why did I have a DM question? Why didn't I see them then? Because you weren't looking for kids. You were looking for hazards. Kids are hazards. Kids are Casualties. Hazards. Let's be honest here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hazards. Let's be hazards here. Casualties no, yeah. yeah. Kids are hazards. Kids are ca- casualties is a hazard. Like, I don't know if a casualty counts as a hazard. Since, 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 since Gil nah, has the... Nah. Since Gil has... No, no, no. Since Gil has the training that he has in his background, he would look for casual, for potential casualties. Environmental hazards is what you yeah. said. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. No, okay. He's got okay. 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 You got it's, lawyered pretty hard there, bud. But. Yeah. It's. <laughs> it's <laughs> I'll, I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. It's, it's, it's only going to be one sided if I keep going. So I'll let it slide. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he is the DM. We got to remember. Exactly. That. Like no, no matter what. Listen, I'm usually pretty fair with most things. And the, your yeah. wording kind of screwed you on that one. <laughs> Yeah, it's semantics, that's true, yeah. but that's that's all. Uh, right, they've been there the whole time, right, Andrew? Oh yeah, they were there. The whole point of being a hero is not always about taking down the bad guy, but it's always about looking out for those who can't defend themselves. Is it all the kids? I mean, yeah, but they're not real kids. They turn into rocks immediately. <laughs> I'm holding rocks right now. He can make... Are they actually human? I don't know. They have thoughts. They have feelings. Can he make life? I don't, the moral just implication kill two is kids. get pretty wild. Right? <laughs> like, were they kids for all intents and purposes? Right. That's what I was supposed to think about it. Last fight. You were warm. We're it, up it was for today. weird. Mason? Come on, big guy. Andrew? Let's go. All right. I How turn do you, off my watch thing. and You immediately turn... Do you go full or do you go like half? Oh, no. Full thing. All right. Full thing. I know what he's capable of. Are you kidding me? <laughs> fair. That's fair. It's true. It's true. Mason is like taking off like his shoes because they're still filled with sand. He's like, okay, no shoes this time. Yeah, that's 100% moon dust. I've no moon dust when I see it. Look at this. It's not. It's no, not moon it's dust. It's moon dust. I saw it. <laughs> yeah, that's I, one of those. I just, I just look at Hill. I'm like, you saw what? What do you mean? I, 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 I morph into him, and then just. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that explains it. Thanks. I, start, right. I roll up my pants just a little bit. Just like, okay. Oh man, your legs are raw, dude. Jeez, Mason. Yeah, it's, Andrew. it's been a while. You ready? <laughs> ready. Ready. Uh, Avery, meet me in the DM's private room for a hot second. Oh, oh okay. No. Wow. I had our seat. All right. During this fight, more and more visions of Thalia are going to become apparent to you. And you're going to see Mason's dark past. He is a full delinquent. He has done terrible things to some good people. All for the sake of not wanting to be his father. 
You're also going to see another mm-hmm. man that looks identical to his father, but is in a different costume. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then the other thing that's going to happen during this fight, uh, do you have the amulet that was given to you or earlier? With yeah, you? she she like put it into her pocket. It's going to start glowing. At oh, okay. Round two. And you're going to feel either the desire to put it on or the desire to not put it on. Three, two, one. Andrew, you get first go. Okay, I want to pick up like a big piece just out of the earth and just chuck it at him. <laughs> Straightforward, I like it. Mason. Well, oh, my book. <laughs> okay, I'm going to speed blitz while phasing. Could uh, you do a describe? Oh, okay. So well, describe. phasing is basically when I vibrate my molecules fast enough that I can go through stuff. Yep. I'll say go through him, but this still works. Okay, so you're just dodging the yeah, rock like, that's I, coming at you like, then, pretty much. Like, I'm going, no, well, I, I was going to go straight at him, so then I can, like, go for, you know. So you're little, charging him. Little, yeah, a little Are you going for action. a hit? Are you, like, are you going to hit him, or? It's primarily phasing. I'll say flank him a little bit, so then he wouldn't see it, but, yeah, kind of. So you're just going to go like it, phase right through the rock and hit him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Counter rolls. Go. Threw my thing out of the thing. Deace. Oh, I got a eight. Okay. Uh, glorious piece of earth is lifted up from Andrew. Yucked towards Mason. Mason, no, like, doesn't even blink an eye. Starts phasing his molecules. Just bursts right through the rock. Andrew, you see him go right through the rock doesn't destroy at all he just merges through it and he comes in and lands a hook right in your face you get sent flying back it hurts a little bit but not not right. a, not a lot you're still very much like oh interesting mason your hand hurts a little bit <laughs> you just punch solid rock armor by the way <laughs> awesome <laughs> Right, like a ding. Just uh, as you were going, on his legs. <laughs> as you were going flying back, uh, Victor goes. Let's have a little bit of fun with this fight. What do you say, Robert? I love some fun. He then turns the earth into molten lava. There are spaces of rock that you can stand on, but it's this is piece. you are now fully in the inside of a volcano. Okay. Okay. Um, the, well, AC, gonna, the AC. Well, hold on. I forgot, the, I, forgot, the I forgot the AC. He turns the AC back on. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Mason, you go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to fly up. And, like, while I'm looking, uh, like, I'm going to fly up like this. And then I'm going to come back down to just, just blast them. Okay. All right. I want to do that Hulk clap, you know, and he claps and the sound waves oh, themselves. Yes. That's, a, yeah, That's what nice. I want to do. <laughs> All right. Give me those counter rolls. This is a pure brawling fight, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. I got seven. Okay. I got 11. Okay. So, yeah, he beat me there. You Ooh. go to land in a punch. Uh, perfect timing. You had an 11, you said? Yeah. I. I blast. Oh, I thought you were coming in. Sorry, my bad. Blast. Blast. Uh, You go to blast. It starts flying towards him. Andrew claps, sending shockwaves flying. The blast actually turn and redirect to hit Mason. So you get blasted. Boom, boom. This is the first time you've been hit with your own blasts, by the way. My shirt has a hole in it now because I'm still wearing normal clothes. I'm just like... (laughs) It's gonna kill me. Yeah, no, Mason's like like realizing that's that's things. That's that's not a nice feeling. Avery, the glow gets worse. She's just no. gonna keep holding it really tight, like like sweating, like it's like clenched. Uh, let's see, uh, Andrew. Yes, you are up. He's he's invulnerable to stuff, right? 
pretty much. Yeah. Like lava won't kill him. No. No. It'll hurt. Great. Oh, I know what I want to do. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What I like oh, to do, oh, boy, is I would like to jump up and grab him and just cannonball into the lava. Okay. okay. I have impenetrable armor, so it ain't gonna hurt me none. This You're not is, wrong. This is gonna be amazing for what I was gonna do. What are then. you doing? <laughs> I was gonna go full on like a full like breaking sound barrier straight into him. So this is oh. like a clash of the titans right now. Yeah. yeah. Counter rolls. Oh, I need counter rolls. <laughs> this is <laughs> awesome. I can't yeah. do. I need one more finger than that. Eleven. I'm assuming. Oh, I only got a six. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Yes. That's be Andrew, rough. you and dog. Andrew, you see him, and you go to try and <laughs> jump up and catch him, and in a blink of an eye, Mason, you slam into him and send him flying into the lava. This this was really the opposite of what just happened. Yeah, no, this is Clash of the Titan. Okay. As okay, so when he hits, is he like landing into lava or is he landing oh, into he like Oh, he fully lands in lava. Nice. Okay. I Mason got kind of get concerned because he doesn't know that this is this is, he can do this. So he kinda like he goes to like the lava like Do I know he's there? Yes. Yes. I just want to grab him. I just want to <laughs> grab him by his collar and pull him in with me. The moment you I'm not even gonna make you roll for this, by the way, because you're concerned. <laughs> Um, the moment you're like there, you're kind of like looking at it. Avery, the glow gets worse. You're you're looking into the lava, and you're like, "Is he okay?" The hand, like the Terminator, just reaches out, grabs you, and sucks you in there with him, and it hurts a lot. Bing! It feels like. A Bad sunburn. This is not comfortable. The lava. Because I will say, I am fully invincible when it yes. comes down to my. Right. Uh, sure. Yeah. That doesn't change pain. Oh yeah. No, I'm stinging. I'm, oh, stinging. I'm like, oh, ah. it's burn. The lava it's burn. disappears as the two left there, and you just see Andrew holding Mason by his shirt, and Mason is just dangling there. Shirt, the leftover. It's just, it's just the okay. collar. It's just the I'm collar left. You, I just went in lava. This is not looking good for me. It's exactly. just the collar yeah. left. Okay, he's holding me by the hoodie. Just... <laughs> I'll get him. <laughs> we have a clear winner, Andrew. What did you do right? Well, actually, I learned when he passed through the rock that throwing stuff at him. Maybe even hitting him wasn't really going to work. So I thought clapping sound waves are a little harder to move around. So Very true. Learned a little bit from them. Mason, what did you do wrong? I got a little bit too cocky. I thought I really hurt him bad. And I thought he was actually, he couldn't handle the lava. Very well. Avery? Avery's just kind of watching Mason, just like very quiet. She's just not saying anything. She's just watching him. What did Mason do wrong? I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. That's fair. Robert. Oh, Donovan, would you like to interject? Yeah, I know what Mason did wrong. What did he do wrong? He didn't know his own teammate's powers. Exactly. He didn't know he could handle lava. I didn't know Gil could make his mech bigger while still wearing it. Yep. These are things about each other. that are going to make or break a fight. You all did very well today. You should be very proud. 